Are you looking for the best trail shoe that you can find for your dollar? Well, look no further. Check out this video. This shoe is just over 11 ounces. The, the stack height is 35 millimeters at the heel and 29 millimeters at the forefront, which makes for a six millimeter drop. Despite the size and weight though, they, feel, they don't feel heavy. And in fact, they feel deceptively light when holding in my hand and especially when they're on my feet. Uh, there is a lot of foam. This uh, patented V Loft V3 nitrogen infused cushion uh, feels deep and is quite responsive. They definitely are springy, but not mushy. Uh, in fact, this Loft V3 feels very energetic, making the Caldera 6 run relatively fast for a shoe of its weight and size. I was happy to find plenty of volume in the upper when I first tried them on. Uh, the toe box rounds out nicely in front and the tongue is very well padded and wraps around the foot very well. There are also some simple effective additional features such as the front and the rear gaiter attachments as well as a lace loop to tuck in your shoelaces. For me this is a great pick for those slower longer runs. For the short time that I've had them uh, they perform well on dirt gravel paths and, and fire roads. This probably would not be my preferred shoe for technical trails. So if you like the fit and the feel and you can manage the higher stack and the, the wider platform, these would probably work great as an ultra marathon race shoe. Now these retail in the store for around $150, but I got mine on sale for $99 and I'm planning on using them next month when I run the Suggs Farm 40 mile ultra race, which I plan to make a video of. And also, uh, in November at the Thailand's 24 hour race. So I highly recommend these shoes if you're a trail runner and especially looking to run anything over uh, 50K.